YouTube, welcome to the second episode of Let's Play European Universe House 4, Vision AR. Um, of course, last episode we took Richard Goab, Dash, and Vijapur from um, our neighbor Bahamas. Now we're going to um, stabilize our country a bit. Now, I went ahead and I ordered all of the areas to be cored, so um, that should be taken care of. Also, I'm going to take advantage of the situation and reduce my war exhaustion twice. Um, though it takes pretty much all of our diplomatic points, it brings us down to a more reasonable level where we can tolerate the revolt risk boost. Um, fortunately, if we look at my actual revolts, there's only, only Bishoper and Desh, really, do we have to worry about uh, my revolt. And that's due to the fact they were recently conquered. And once we core them, um, we should be good since they're in our culture group. Um, so of course we got a, We were attacked by rebels. Um, we actually have the support of some Hindu zealots. Um, which um, kind of supported us throughout the war. Just because we were a strong Hindu nation and they want that. So, um, we're kind of benefiting from them. They're helping us repel the rebels back into Bishopur. Um, of course, uh, we'll take out the rest of our um, piddling manpower, so we actually will not be going to war immediately for conquest. Um, it's still telling us we can get another leader. I'm not going to do it so we can uh, accumulate more army tradition. Um, instead, our goal is to... Um, just further grow, kind of stabilize a bit, finish our cores, and then we'll skip from there. Especially since our overextension is going to start hurting us. Um, Orissa, we um, currently feels hostile towards me, probably due to the fact that um, not only did they not get anything, but um, we're incredibly powerful. Um, if we look, it's because, yeah, it's our aggressive expansion modifier. Um, it will end. But, um, for a bit, they're gonna really hate us. Yeah, so we'll get two relation a year. Plus, with our it, um, the only thing is that they'll, um, we hate them for breaking our alliance. Which is pretty good, because we will be, uh, manufacturing a claim. Not to actually, um, do anything with it. But so we can then, um, invade and vassalize Orissa, um, permanently to our nation. We're also going to see Tilinga um, join us, since they're still working for Vijangar. Um, they've been very helpful, actually, in that regard. Um, we'll see our manpower just collapse, so we can um, just look at some other things we can do. Of course, we have a disputed session with Bastar. We may end up in a personal union with them. Um, should their um, ruler die without an heir? Um, since they're tribal, um, this would work out for us pretty well, but we'll see what ends up happening. Um, so yeah, the um, Ahmed Nagari nationalists actually were successful in their attempt to um, take Marwatha, Mar Athwada. I um, know I'm butchering these names. I'm sorry. Why is time not passing? Okay. Oh, so we had stuff. Um, Bahamas um, surrendered to Amegar, Amedagar, um, and had to give up all of their northern frontier to the um, new nation. Fortunately for us, it's another Hindu nation. So we're slowly... So when we actually go to conquering them, um, we will not have to um, convert them. So let's um, get all our forces back into one group. Um, if we look, um, it looks like by um, the 50s, well, early 50s, we'll get all our cores um, sorted out. Until then, we need to look into um, moving our troops. Um, if we look at um, our next target, which is Vinad. Vinad is... one moment. Now, we're going to give up legitimacy because we cannot give up anything. We have a pretty strong claim on the... Province. They want to ally with us, but that's not going to happen. We 
a benefit. They have no alliances. It's an easy, quick grab. Um, and from there, we'll um, further strengthen our position, is what I would be saying. We also have to consider the fact that we're starting to push our administrative power pretty thin. We haven't gotten a single movement in tech that direction, while, like, if we look at our military, um, Orissa's insulting us for some reason, actually. Don't know why. Um, if we look, um, to tech up to the Earthen Rampart, which is next level, we need 900 power. Due to it costing 600. Um, and we are about probably one third of the way, well, almost four ninths, but whatever. Um, the point of the matter is that it's, we're just so pressed for monarch points outside of the military that it's being a mess. So let's continue to try and kill our heir. We have no willing allies, but if we take Vanad, then hey, we win out in the end. Now, why Orissa chose to um, break our alliance, I don't know. Probably they are suspicious of our massive conquest, if I had to guess. Um, so yeah, we're going to wage the war. We wipe out the enemy force. Since they're alone, it's an easy capture. We're done with this. War. Now, um, the ministry, since it will take a while to actually seize the province, um, my prediction is that we'll be able to actually do quite well and um, be able to start pouring this province too. But then we're going to go and just stabilize um, internally. Um, one advantage, I guess, of the attack up is that we may be able to build more troops, um, to build earthen ramparts around, which would help. Mm -hmm. Also, as you know, we don't, um, as you can notice, we don't um, actually have a heavy ship now, and I would like to get a pretty powerful navy out um, so I can dominate the seas and take Cylon in the long run. We won't get the province from uh, Orissa, we're going to have to fight him for it, but eh, it could be worse, to be honest. I'm quite happy with uh, the progress we're making. If we, um, if we take a look for a moment and look at the Hindustan um, things. We um, control around um, we control six of the provinces we need, which is um, we need to control a total of 15 provinces. We control six of these. Um, we're working on that. Um, these more southern provinces um, I believe also yeah, Vanad, um, Colchin, and um, Malabar. If we add all of them up, they make up around. They make up three more um, of the stuff. Um, then we need to look. Um, I believe all of Orissa, pretty much. Is it? I can't tell if Roger Bars. Um, but at least um, these three provinces, Bastar, um, Telingna, and actually I think also Bastar, Bidar? Is Bidar needed? No. So we need well, uh, pretty much all the provinces are grouped right here. And with Gurjat, we, what we may do is, well, we may vassalize it um, to save time and coring it. Because um, we can diplomatically annex it after a bit. I don't know why, but they just want to provoke us. Probably due to the fact that we're very much more powerful um, a nation than them. We um, definitely are kind of dominant in our region. Maybe Bengal is um, the only major nation that can really compete with us. Um, but we can't really do much about them. Um, we're doing quite well down here. 
So, walls are breached, so if we wanted, we could assault, but we're not going to. It's a waste of very valuable manpower, which we are being pushed to the very edge of what we're using. And it looks like we'll end up with a bit extra, but it's still, we're going to probably, once we finish these easy wars, stop fighting a bit and recover some manpower for this. Especially because we will want to take up these provinces further push our control around. Um, dynastic option. We'll go claim their throne. Um, we still have some positive prestige and it makes us the heir. Um, if, um, this guy dies, unfortunately he's 20, so he probably will do unless we declare war, um, to enforce it on him. And we may break our alliance for that reason. Um, just because that's a one thing we can inherit, um, will be under our control and fight in all our wars then, and it's just nice. Okay, never mind. We actually automatically broke it. We're going to um, wage war since we still have the military access treaty. We're going to personally unit the Investar um, in order to um, control them and hopefully down the line um, inherit them. And um, we'll also they'll also serve as a nice base to further encircle the provinces we're looking for, which is um, Bahamas. Um, yeah, the defender's pretty much beaten. They can't really have too many forces to really, um, no one that joined the war could save We lost our claim, unfortunately, because, um, he must have produced an heir. Pretty unfortunate that, um, we kind of harmed our relationships like that for nothing. Um, however, our relationship should, um... It should eventually get better. Oh well. So I guess we'll start focusing on our next war, which will be uh, taking control of uh, Orissa. Through vacillation or whatever. We'll be annexing the small power. Um, if we look, the um, Fortune and Venad and Mal. Colchin and Malabar will mostly freak out. Orissa will also feel pretty bad, and Omnigar. Um, I don't really care about Bahamnes and Gurjat. They, well, Bahamnes already hates me. He's going to hate me. Um, if we look at his relationships, he has minus 200 of me, and that's not going to get any better. Because, um, I mean, look, we've got some. But it's uh, so we have a new mission, which um, it's to remove Colchin from the map. Now um, we will accept it just because um, we want to um, clean up our borders, become one unified thing, and we don't want to face um, the possible penalty. We're also going to be throwing down a core. It's going to take a, a few years. I'm sorry, it's going to take two years, but um, it's well worth um, having the core there when the time comes. Um, we have a free diplomat. Um, I'm going to go and um, start courting Bengal for a long-term alliance since they're our religion. And um, if... Well, no, they're actually Islam. Never mind. Um, Omegar then, just because um, there's no reason not to cooperate with them. Um, we don't need any of their provinces to um, declare ourselves Hindustan. And they could pr prove a pretty decent ally against um, the northern Muslims which should we start converting provinces.
unfortunately, we can't do much about Bastar, um, due to the fact that, I mean, to, um, Bahamas, because we can't, well, actually, I think since we can annex them, but it's not really worth the effort. Now, if we look, um, we aren't even close to inheriting anything, um, and start picking up points, which we need to be ranked 10 in. We aren't even close. Um, Oris is starting to fabricate a claim on us, which figures we're their primary rival. And actually, um, let's look at Amagar. We may be able to, um... They don't have any enemies or rivals, so this is the best we're going to do is, um, dropping some improved relations down and then, um, requesting for an alliance. I'm sure they'll understand. Um, yeah, so we'll let our army come up here um, and get ready for the inevitable battle that's going to happen when um, Orisa tries to um, declare war on us. I mean, they still like us, it's just dangerous. <laughs> Unfortunately, we did claim the throne of Bastar very well, so it kind of made us lose all our reputation. Yes, um, so we're only losing stuff from the fact that we have an uncontested core in Orissa. Which we will be contesting um, once we are confident we can win the war. Um, we have plenty of cash saved up, um, but our manpower is just so low. I don't want to take the risk of um, declaring war and finding out we have no troops. Though I guess you know, I think actually it's worth um, declaring war for and only taking that province. Oh yeah, we have military access, so. Um, it's start, time to start cutting ties. We'll cancel our military access. Um, that will help some of it. We'll also um, break royal ties, I believe. Oh, no, it will hurt our stability, that too. That's right. We may just um, try to absorb it and restabilize. So... I guess we'll wait and let our overextension get managed back into place. Fortunately, Malvana is about to um, record. It will be done in um, the first. Uh, it will be done pretty soon. Um, we can also expect other of our provinces to finish up, and this will just help us in general, along with the uh, monthly war exhaustion um, down. Will um, bring us to a good level. Yeah, so we'll go and um, add once. We'll go and once um, we finish our overextension, we'll go and stabilize once. So um, we end up at null um, stability when we wage war against Orissa. But overall, we're ending up a pretty decent power in the south. Um, we're going to ignore them about um, their, our research. We can't give up a single military point or any point for that matter, but especially military. Since um, when we get to the Muslim group up here, we need to be able to compete with them. Unfortunately, it looks like the Muslims are starting to invade. Or is that Christian invading the Muslim? That's... That's the Christian invading the Muslim. I don't know, I don't know. Christian Hindu invading Muslim. Sorry, you can't, I'm used to the demo um, being Christian versus Muslim. Wow. I'm sorry if I said Christian throughout the entire thing. I look like an idiot. And that's never good. Anyway, so um, other things we have to consider if we're going to um, wage war is that um, we can, it's actually, um, since it's a coastal nation, we can actually initiate a blockade. Oh, and it's big enough. We can actually initiate a blockade against the enemy. Now we got our first coring in, um, in um, Malvana, leaving um, only Bishop Her, Dash, and Vinad. Um, the reason Dash is taking a little bit longer is we have that 
Siege, which slowed it down, and uh, Vened, as it's, I want to say because it's uh, cheaper, it also is easier to core. Um, but all of our cores, by the looks of it, will be, at least most of our cores will be done um, in the middle of 52. By then we'll have some decent manpower. starting to like us, um, so we'll go and try it ally. Unfortunately, their hostile attitude means they're not going to be allied with us anytime soon. However, it's good to get on their good side anyway, just because if they like us enough, they'll take stability hits but for declaring war on us, which will buy us some time. Um, so, since I talked about fleets, um, I realized that we kind of want a bigger fleet um, for fighting um, our enemy. Now, um, one thing to note is actually galleys are superior to um, bar um, barks early on in terms of actual ability of um, to deal damage and survive, though they're a bit slower. So, we're going to be building um, probably um, four more galleys to attach to our well, not to attach our fleet, but um, just because that will allow us to um, lock their cogs in so they can't react to our fleet. And that's always nice. Um, let's Looking at Orissa diplomatically, they actually have are allied with both Malabar um, and... Um, is that Gurjat? And Kachar. Um, so actually they don't have the alliances I thought they had. But their Gurjat is their vassal. So if we wage war, we're also going to want to release Gurjat um, from vassalage. That will um, not only make it easier in the next war, but um, it prevents them from... It, um, we can't vassalize them while they have a vassal, I'm pretty sure. So um, looking at it, um, nothing much to say. We're very gradually building up new um, points. As we plan taking a core, we'll actually be pretty good administratively for a bit, which I'm happy with. Um, building up a decent reserve. And since our next goal is to vassalize, I guess. Um, or so. Which is the last of my three major goals I um, put in the description of the last video. Though si some other things may eventually become more vital. Looking at it, since um, we're wiping out other nations, we're actually getting slightly more powerful trade-wise. Um, Gurjat was... I don't blame him. Trying to fabricate a claim on me. Everyone wants a claim in my provinces. Um, especially the Muslim one people, because we're a very... Um, in terms of opponents, we're probably the biggest one they have. In India, Vinad is now um, part of our patrimony. So if we look at our um, overextension, it's only at 32% now. And I'm once by poor Bijapur is um, one of our cores. Will go and um, declare war on Orissa um, in order to liberate um, Gurajat and um, retake our core. Which we should be able to easily do. Not only um, are we dealing with a very linear war, with the exception of um, Malabar being their ally. Actually, we probably want to be next to Malabar first. Because if we're lucky, we can also um, pull a sneaky um, annexation of Malabar into the, the entire peace deal. Which, while it would suck um, in terms of... Um, it would eat up our diplomatic power, it would be totally worth it to um, reduce the amount of um, wars we have to fight. Especially because we're going to lose war pretty soon. Um, we won't be able to get a claim on it, I should say. It's 
So yeah, we have Nationalists and um, Thiaper and um, Dash. Fortunately, um, Thiaper soon should not be a problem in terms of actual um, issues. I mean, it's only how much? Um, Ten? Um, so, I don't know who just died. Um, our heir just died, I think, actually. Or our ruler, our, um, okay, so our heir just died, which was the goal of, um, making him one of our, our military leader was to shorten his lifespan. We'll actually hire our free leader. Unfortunately, he's not as good, so we're going to actually boot this guy and hope the next guy is worthy of us. Um, yes, much better um, for it. He has two shock, which will help his um, combat, the combat with his cavalry. Especially since we're going to actually recruit that last cavalry we never bothered doing. It makes our army pretty fearsome in open combat, I'll tell you. We'll merge the 4th and 3rd fleets. Um, we'll have this galley force will pro will be um, pretty much a mainstay for us for a while, especially given what resources we have to work with. Um, of course, we did spend a hundred military power, but it was completely only worth it. For one thing, we don't want to have to deal with a very very bad war, and um, once we. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, we're looking at Orissa again. When some we die, we'll be replaced by a very diplomatic ruler, which we'll somewhat want um, for, um, to increase our naval proficiency. And just the amount of um, peace, since we'll be waging a bunch of peace deals. Um, Bijapur is now considered part of our patrimony. Um, very, very nice. Um, we're actually, I think... Um, yeah, we're going to go and kill Koshin, Koshin first, um, just because, um, if we, um, take, um, Koshin, then, um, we'll be able to, um, once we annex Malabar, hopefully in the Orisan War, we'll, um, be able to have a pretty solid south. So, yeah, we have to deal with the consequences of that. Um, fortunately, we have our very shocking um, ruler, um, not ruler, um, commander, that will um, be able to pretty much lay the hurt down. Um, we have slightly better morale, and we wipe the, them out pretty fast. We get a 5 prestige from that. Actually, military battles are the next way to prestige this game. We get this option now. Um, I don't know about you, but if I had to choose between tax and um, manpower right now, I'll choose manpower. Just because we have very uh, little of it to go around. And since we won that war pretty handily without any losses, battle I mean, um, I mean literally I think we only lost, we only lost a hundred men. Once we take Koshin, um, we'll be, um, so we're still regenerating manpower I should say. Easily. Um, this is a nice war. It kind of allows us to buffer our, our administrative um, thing a bit more from and diplomatic from all the burden of um, that's going to face win it. And actually, I'm going to hire my first advisor. Now, I didn't do this early on, but um, if I can speed up my military one, I'm able to get someone for a decent price. Um, we have this decent army reformer, um, which brings our tech cost down. And actually, I think he's the best person here with our poor attack. Um, now, if we wanted to buy it, we only need 840 power. Plus, we're earning um, power at a significantly... We're earning it at 7 per. So, going by ours, we are... Actually, we're only 300 points away. Um, so, if I um, really quickly did the math here, that's only 50 months worth of income. So, we're going to... Um, pretty soon be able to tech up um, one level to tech level three. 
which is Europe's standard level, but it's nice to get the upgrade, especially because um, it will give us a morale advantage within our own um, kingdom, um, region, which is always valuable to have. Currently 48th in score, though. I mean, administratively, we're actually doing probably one of the better jobs in the region, but we're doing pretty poor everywhere else. But everywhere else is not. Nowhere is doing very, absolutely perfect. So actually, what we're going to do is um, we're going to core before we. Um, once we finish the score, we're going to add our stability before we take this new province, just so we get a cheaper price for the stability. Um, which is pretty vital. Um, now we have a choice of money and stability. We're rich, and I have a hoarding issue. We will have a hoarding issue since we don't have much to spend it on. Um, except for random events. Um, we just reached the walls, which, um, in this, so, um, probably in a few, in a little bit, we'll be able to actually, um, take the province. Um, unfortunately, I think we have around one more year until the core finishes. Yeah, the 10th of September. So we'll be occupying and building up, and more worse, building up war exhaustion. Well, we, we actually won't. We're pretty stagnant because we crushed it. Um, of course, our legitimacy is really helping with the uh, war exhaustion we're dealing with. Um, and our revolt risk. And if we look, um, the only dash stands a chance of actually revolting, which is really nice. We've taken Koshin. Um, it's going to have to suffer the humiliating fate of not of nothing while we uh, move our people and wait for um, the stability bonus. Now, I know this is somewhat of a gaming tactic, but um, I am utilizing it because we kind of need an easy way to get um, stability um, for so we can absorb the hit Orissa will take, give us for the royal marriage, unless the ruler conveniently died, which I would not mind actually. Their ruler is much better than mine. And if we look at their heir, some guy named Hu Shotama will ascend the throne. Unfortunately, you cannot look at anyone else's. And actually, um, if we look, um, we are not considered one of the rivals. Um, I think I'm tempted to declare um, Gurjat our rival, um, just for the boost in uh, relations with a bunch of different states in the region. Unfortunately, um, we have to deal with the uh, idea that Gurajat and Awa will be uh, much more dangerous down the road um, because the religiously speaking the Hindus are pretty bad outside of us um, where the if we wanted to it well we won't because we're an Eastern group but we're essentially the best qualifier for a defender of the faith um, if Eastern could have it. Unfortunately, our legitimacy has fallen to the point where um, we have no, we do not tolerance, tolerate heretics. Fortunately, we do not have any heretics um, to worry about, since most of the heresies are over here. And our little Hindu friend, Champa. But, um, no, we're doing actually quite well for ourselves, especially considering the fact that Timur is still armed and dangerous at the moment. That's going to be a very fun. Um, okay, I think I'll actually cover another thing. Tech-wise, we do have to worry about one thing, which is the fact that we need to westernize. Um, yeah, 
Of course, we can't see how many attack levels. I actually don't know. It was eight for someone in the Ottoman tech group, but it may be different for someone in the um, Indian tech group, which is what we're dealing with in um, this game. Don't know why I keep ordering him to do weird things. Um, yeah, it's going to be around one month in game until we can um, do anything about it, but looking pretty good actually right now. Um, so now we can um, choose to um, sacrifice some prestige or sacrifice time and power for some prestige. Now, unfortunately for him, as unfortunately for everyone, I'm not going to be wasting. Uh, power on anything but um, pouring provinces. So we've beaten Cochin. Um, we're going to go and fire off one stability. Actually, I'm feeling um, very optimistic. Let's fire two off. Um, actually, this also gives us access to two options. Um, we can choose to... Um, there's two um, religious movements in... Um, Hinduism, and we can choose one to give us a boost. Now, one, which is the Hariz Daza movement, gives us a stability cost modifier and half a percentage of missionary strength. And while the Advaita movement um, gives us some revolt risk down. Now, since I do like my stability a lot more than I like um, rev um, revolt risk down, uh, especially since we're going for a mostly stable. Um, monocultural, at least in the south, we won't be spending a lot on it. I think the Harris Dumb movement will help us the most. So, um, and that took no uh, points. Though we are out of administrative power for coin right now, so we're going to be somewhat behind in that regard. Um, we're going to charge our um, thing. Cochin will hate us. Malabar really hates us. And now Orissa if they did not hate us before, they should start feeling suspicious because we are wiping out all our neighbors. Um, of course, we, though we gain no prestige, we do get a province, and we get that. Um, finally, if we look at our missions before the end, we get, are given an option of um, taking Malabar. Um, simply put, I like this. Um, I mean, if we compare it, spread our culture to Malvana is actually going to be a lot more trouble than it's worth, because if I uh, clicked Malvana, um, it would take 75 diplomatic power to convert a culture. And that's just incredible um, for what we're going to be doing. So instead, our, we're going to ignore that and um, take the Malabar goal, which... Um, Um, now we have finally actually one more thing. We can choose to accept religious sects, which allows us to um, get permanent heresy. However, we're giving up our mission a lot of missionary strength, which, to be honest, I'm not very enthusiastic about doing. Um, so I think we're going to cut it there. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, tune in next time for the war. Um, uh, the Vijayanagar's War of Orison Re of Reclamation from Orissa.